Welcome back to Ralph's house. Uh, still working on our little cabin here a little bit, getting this side of the painting straightened up. We're on a big canvas, so we're taking it a section at a time. Let's see what we can do here. We're working on that smoke coming out of the chimney. So I had some ultramarine blue in here, and it had it really darkened down a little bit, so I'm grabbing just a little bit of white, mix in with that, and it gives me just kind of a blue-gray. A blue so mix those two colors together, it gives me just kind of a blue-gray. Uh, so give me a smoke underlay color here. More white. Maybe a little more whiskey. I'm going to add more white into that. Just get that, get that smoke coming out of that chimney, see? It's kind of going to just be wafting off up there to the sky somewhere and just build it a little bit. Some of that will get just a few strokes that into the roof of this cabin. Like that part. A flat part of the roof, so we just laid it down there. Right here, we laid that down right there. Where the light's hitting on a little bit better. And that just kind of disappears on out there into space. It just, we, don't, we, want this, we want it to be there, but not really enough to. It's early in the morning, the sun's coming up, shining on the river bank. Mama started cooking in the stove there. So we got that going there. Well, I got some of this light color. I'm going to grab some lights in this river bank, see. Don't be afraid to put the colors in there. Just kind of move that in there a little bit. I'm going to take some of this yellow ochre, some of this white, give me a, just a good light ochre color. Again on that cabin. Let's catch it. There we go. That made it jump out a little bit. Just putting that white in that paint. Of course, laying flat on the porch. a little bit right up from that cabin roof. How's that? A little bit, that's a good color to run down that river bank. Oh, oh yeah, that sunlight's hitting right over there in that corner, see? That's what we were wanting to do. Some of these trees going up in the air. You gotta pull it around that tree. We just keep fighting and fighting and fighting to get what we want this to be. Put it on, build around that tree a little bit. There's one back in there behind that one. There's a good tree over here that's going to catch some of that light. <laughs> we're playing and having fun. I hope y'all can tell that we have a good time painting here and uh, we talk to each other and tease each other. You've got a hard time. And a lot of times when you do a picture this big, it sure helps to stand back and look and get some ideas of what's going on. There has somebody back there to help guide you through what you're doing. Uh, somebody to trust to do it. You've done it again. You've done that. Oh, uh, so that worked. Yeah. So worked. we caught the light. Remember the light came mm -hmm. through from over here, it's now casting over here. And that's what we were trying to achieve. Uh, I hope that did what we wanted to do there. Yeah. What do you say? Our little porch. You know, really, being down here in the south, there's probably an old dog living on that porch. The little steps coming off there. 
10 steps coming off. When I do something like that, and then if I want to darken a little bit, just grab a little. I go back and forth. I do this. I'm notorious for this. And you paint and you paint. Just get a little bit of steps coming off of there. That might be the wrong color for that, but we'll take care of that in just a little bit. We got our step drawn in. You know, one reason that boat coming up the river is turning just like looks like he's swinging in the bank there. He probably had an old uh, pole out here on the river bank. That old pole, you don't think about it. Grab a little bit of burnt sand and put in there with that. Just make them a shadow color. Oh, I grab it. I got to light that time. A little bit of this blue. Mixing those in together, give me a shadow color, something I can draw with again. We're still drawing a little bit. But this, this right here would have been on the riverbank and it had a stick on there, probably going to a rope, getting into the ground. They'd be standing there shaking that stick. But on the end of that stick, let's see if we can get the right color that we want to do there. On the end of that stick would have been a Gonna be a rag blowing out there. There's actually a place down here right below where we live called Shake Rag. And that's the reason they call it a Shake Rag, that's when the new steamboats come down the river and do to pull in, they had something to load on the boat. They had no stick out there, and, and that old rag out there, and they just shake that rag. Steamboat captain knew they needed something. We got that old rag out there. We're probably going to have to put somebody over shaking that rag a little bit. And hit that rope coming down there. It'll probably just be a, just be a little head. And I have to keep in the same relation as the cabin. He's not going to be a real big fella out there. He's reaching up to shake that rag. He's just standing over here and he'll be casting a shadow out there. Oh, we'll kind of cast that back to the woods a little bit. And we're still telling part of the story. Let's get that dark on there so we have something to work into. He's just shaking that rag. The little cat knows they got something to pick up. And over on the porch, you probably got Mama sitting over there somewhere, but we'll take care of her later. Let me clean my brush. So we're going to keep telling stories of this and playing with this. i tell you what, y'all come back next time. Let's see what I would put into this picture. Y'all come.